Hey everyone, in this episode I'm going to show you what a V-Rig, also known as an M-Rig, looks like. So here we have the entire setup fully arranged and if you look at the top left over there that would be one tie-in point and that could be for example your original tie-in point and you know you would be climbing MRS or moving rope system and um, then you would take the rope and move it to a second tie-in point up here and this would allow you to have your weight distributed evenly and that's a huge benefit but it'll also allow you to work in a central area at each tie-in point ideally you could use rings but there would be a lot of friction um, ideally you want to use pulleys so this system here uses four pulleys and five carabiners. We have one pulley over there, one pulley over here, one pulley over here, and one pulley over here. The pulleys that are used at the tie-in points can be, at, be any type of pulley, you know, any type of pulley that you prefer, but um, definitely using a pulley is preferable to using rings and certainly preferable to natural crotching. I'm not even sure that would work. But down here, here you could use a normal pulley, but I'm going to show you in a bit why using a hitch climber pulley with the triple attachment points is beneficial. Down here, you definitely need a hitch climber pulley um, because you can, as you can see, the climber would get connected in here and their hitch of choice would be connected here also and then you would have the end of the rope connected to the center hole and then the third hole would be connected to this pulley here which is basically you know you create a triangle and you pull down the center of the rope here so that you have easy access to it. And now, the climber can move around with relative ease, and they can ascend And this also, it gives you better work positioning. That's really the main benefit of this. You have a lot better work positioning. You just, it's gonna be a lot more comfortable than if you just had one tie-in point or even two tie-in points close together. You can see how the hitch will grab and keep it up. And, you know, you can send So yeah, if you, and let's say you wanted to climb all the way to one of these tie-in points, back all the way up to it. Instead of, you know, having to hold your position all the time, one thing you can do, and the reason why using a hitch climber pulley here is preferable, is you can take another prusik and you can tie a hitch here So now you have this hitch here, and you can, anytime you go up, it's going to now hold. 
So it's going to capture that progress as you move up close towards your tie-in point. And it should be noted, and to release it, you can just you know, let go, or you can you know, take it off altogether. But it should be noted that um, these tie-in points don't have to be, they don't have to be the same tree. They could be two different trees, whatever you need to do to make your work positioning ideal. This is the V-Rig. It's easier to set up than it looks. Uh, I just wanted to demonstrate it's the basic concept and show anybody interested. I looked online, there aren't a lot of resources for you know how to set this up as far as the equipment. So I just wanted to show anyone who's interested how that basically functions and then what gear they would need and where it would be placed. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please hit like. If you have questions or comments, leave them below. I'm not an expert on this. Um, I'm just making a video about it. Uh, it seemed like a great idea for content. I do know enough about it to be talking about it, but I'm not an expert. And yeah, if you enjoy my content, please subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.